knowledge management is the core of the whole thing, but most people consider knowledge man management to be equal to installing new software, having massive uh, data warehouse in order to have all your documents online for everybody, and that sort of knowledge, man knowledge management adds very little value. My job in Beijing as a professor and master of the Ditao Masters Academy is to help Chinese business leaders understand what it takes to manage a knowledge-based company, which is much more than what most people think of as knowledge management. What it takes to manage a knowledge-based company is first of all to involve its stakeholders such as, as customers, suppliers, other partners, intermediaries and employees to involve them much more in what goes on, to not only look upon them as a production factor, which is uh, the employers, don't look upon them as a production factor, look upon them as a partner in uh, running the business. And uh, so knowledge management is to, to change your mental model according to or against the stakeholders. But it is also to design the company in such a way that there is an open and free flow of information between the company and the outside, but indeed within the company. And that has to do with office layout, with the organizational design, with the culture, with the computer systems, of course. There's a lot you can do to have a more free flow. Because innovation happens when people with different backgrounds work together. It does, does not happen when you have 100 or 200 engineers. It happens when an engineer and a housewife and a plumber or whoever works together to create something that is of use to people. Take the two countries that you know well, China and Denmark. How far is it actually China compared to Denmark now in knowledge management? Um, most Chinese business managers run their company as if they had been a factory, which means that uh, it is the manager that thinks and it is the employers that act. Um, and I would say quite a few Danish companies actually are run the same way. But uh, I'm happy to say that we have an advantage in Denmark which we are rapidly lose, losing for the time being because the sort of manager that uh, is being cherished and uh, admired today is the short-term oriented financial guy and that person will add very little, actually will destruct value in the long run. Um, so China will overtake our role if I am successful and other people are successful in teaching them how to run a, a knowledge-based business. It's only if Denmark is still sleeping. Uh, but Denmark is sleeping and I see very little uh, reason why Denmark should wake up, frankly speaking. So good night. Good night, thank you Lars.